So last night on the live, there was quite a common theme that came through. And um, I just want to help some people with that because I found myself answering the same question a lot last night in the hours live that I did. And I just want to say this, okay? Things have to become difficult and sticky and hard because if they didn't, we'd never move and we'd never shift and we'd always stay. Okay, and uh, lots of people were saying things just feel really difficult and really hard. Now things only get really difficult and really hard if you're not gonna move, okay? Um, and often that's one of the really great ways that it triggers our intuition, okay? Because intuitively, I know all of you know what you should be doing, okay? If you choose to listen to that inner voice. And some of you might be like, yeah, but I don't think that's right. Okay, well I'm gonna say to you, when it comes to intuition, has it ever let you down? That sixth sense, that gut feeling, has it ever let you down? Have you ever been wrong? Or have you just chosen to go against it and then the route that you've taken has not been the right one? So why does it make it difficult? Simple. To help you on your journey and your lesson. You see, if we were all intuitive beings and we all listened to our intuition, none of us would ever get into a sticky mess. We'd all be doing exactly what we wanted to be. However, how will we ever learn? So I'm going to say to you today, if things feel really hard and difficult, tune in to your heart and your solar plexus okay and tune into it and ask yourself am I doing what I should be doing am I where I should be with am I doing the right job for me am I with the right person in my life because if you ask yourself those four questions sit and listen to that tiny little voice and remember intuition is just a muscle and that's and literally that's all I do. I live on my intuition 100%. I have no one guiding me. Literally, I just tune in and I listen to myself and I do exactly what's right and I take those difficult journeys and I send those difficult emails and I do those things because I know that if I go and do that thing, it will lead to my next path and my next door. So just remember that today. When things seem really difficult, are you the one that's staying stuck? Are you the one that's choosing to stay with the wrong partner? Are you in the wrong job? Because all the while that you stay stuck, all the while that you hate doing what you're doing, you're not actually in your flow. You're not in divine alignment and you're not following your soul's purpose. We all came here for amazing and incredible things. And if what you're doing right now feels like there's no way out or whatever, I would challenge you to listen to your intuition. Because when you take that next step, then that next step and the next step and the next step become clear. A lot of people I've spoken to are like, yeah, but I can only see one avenue. Okay, maybe you have to go down that one avenue. Maybe you have to contact that one person. Maybe you have to, I don't know, uh, hand your notice in before that next job comes to you. Maybe you have to say uh, explicitly to your, your landlord, whatever, that you are moving um, because then that house can then open up. But all the while we try and stay in our little, what we call our safety bubble. And don't forget, safety is the beautiful word that the ego loves. Your ego only wants to keep you safe but your ego does not like your intuition so i would say to you for any of you there that are stuck and really finding life difficult tune into yourself ask your heart those four questions i gave you earlier and then listen to it and follow it be courageous be brave and take those steps because that's how you'll get to where it is that you need to be have a beautiful day enjoy yourself i'll be live at lunch on tiktok take care Bye.